What's good family? Welcome back to another video with your boy. In this video right here, we're gonna be watching another Shattered Paradise video. You already know how these go. It's like a whole entire short film in itself, and it's very eye-opening. It really wakes us up to what's really going on in this world. And I do need to make mention, I appreciate the people who do actually send video requests. Like, if it wasn't for you guys, I would have never came across this channel right here. And we wouldn't be watching this video right now. So if you have any other videos that you want to watch together, you can either send it to my Instagram DMs, which is like right here. Or you could just comment down below. Without further ado, make sure you do drop a like down below. Subscribe and turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Let's get straight into this. I don't mean to brag, I don't care, but I want you to know, double vaxxed, booster, flu shot, and I'm gonna be honest, I have the shingle shot too. And I still get my What? Yes! Traveled, went to Mexico twice, did shows, meet and greets, never got COVID, clearly, Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice. So nice. Uh. Well, ain't that convenient. She's serious. Comedian Heather McDonald is out of a Valley Hospital tonight after she collapsed over the weekend during a show at the Tempe Improv. She spoke with Team 12's Colleen Socorro today about the frightening tumble. And Colleen, how is she doing? She's doing better. Heather McDonald says she stayed at St. Joseph's Hospital over the weekend as they ran tests to figure out what happened here Saturday night at the Tempe Improv. She says they don't really know why she collapsed three minutes into her act. In front of Saturday night's crowd, McDonald says she all was. All I gotta say, she might have revealed why she collapsed, bro. Talking about how she's vaccinated against COVID and has the booster and her flu shot. She says it wasn't alcohol or COVID. Her management saying she suffered a skull fracture in the fall. I passed out on stage. I got up, I did one joke, and I felt so dizzy. You could see my eye. I fell on my eye. Oh my God. I can I cannot believe this happened. I feel so terrible that they had to tell everyone to leave and then cancel the second show. A Tempe, I will be back. I just, I've never ever fainted in my life. What do y'all think happened? Comment down below, yeah. What do y'all think happened? Is this the first time mankind has gone through such a change? There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. But have the tabernacles of Edom engaged in profane fornication with forbidden flesh? These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are their dukes. These are the sons of Seir the Horite, who inhabited the land. Lotan, and Shobel, and Zibion, and Ana, and Dishon, and Ezer, and Dishan. These are the dukes of the Horites, the children of Seir, in the land of Edom. Giants dwelt therein in old time, and the Ammonites called them Zamzumins, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Shalom, family. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are currently sharing this planet, the Earth, with entities and beings that have genetically deviated from the Most High's original design a long time ago. Democide or death by government. And now they want us to do the same. 
killed 290 million people on record. Including women and children. It killed up to 10 million people. Western colonization killed over 50 million people. Mass extermination leading to up to 1 million deaths. Oh, 1 million people. King Leopold II. Some 11 million people. We can be as different as we want to be, but you can't kill people. Says who? A medical milestone new surgery that uses genetically modified animal organs to save the lives of humans. Farewell to the flesh. And the Ammonites called them Zamzum. Sons of the Nephilim, offspring of the fallen. Experience what it is to be human. The fabled master race, the Superman, the Obermensch. I saw it shall thou live. Tonight, you pills will sleep with your rifle. They will give your rifle a girl's name. You're married to this piece, this weapon of iron and wood, and you will be faithful. Dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. The names have been changed. And of the dew of heaven from above. To protect the guilty. And by thy sword shalt thou live. All right, now this is a story that is straight out of science fiction. And it talks about human pregnancies that would be done in artificial wombs. Now the idea, of course, sounds very futuristic. But believe it or not, it is fast approaching. Dutch scientists are working on it. There are influential people who are promoting the possibility of having artificial wombs give birth to human children. And the Lord said unto her, Sounds like some type of cloning to me. Uh, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Naya Okami may look like a human, but she identifies as a wolf. And she joins us now, live from her home in Seattle, to tell us more. Hi, Naya. Hi, Thank Naya. you for joining us. The treachery of a jealous heart. The envy of Cain. The mark of Esau. clear for YouTube purposes I'm not in support of using guns and ammunition for any type of violence okay for YouTube purposes and also any information in this video use your own discernment you can do your own research on whatever is said to make sure that it's true for the first time ever a man with a life-threatening heart disease successfully received a new heart from a genetically modified pig surgeons at the university of maryland performing this groundbreaking procedure on 57 year old david bennett senior you see him right there this is now giving hope to doctors and thousands of patients waiting for organ transplants this is the heart used to give dave bennett a new lease on life 
In a nine-hour procedure, surgeons transplanted the organ taken from a one-year-old pig. It was gene-edited, bred and killed for this purpose. Following Friday's surgery, the 57... Yo, why do I look like Joe Biden? Joe Biden out here doing surgery. ...year-old patient is breathing on his own while still connected to a heart-lung machine. Prior attempts at so-called xenotransplantation largely failed because patients' bodies rapidly rejected the animal organ. What's the biggest risk, the biggest challenge in doing this kind of transplant? Well, I think the biggest risk is, is always uh, bringing in uh, uh, pig infections that are not seen by humans before or malignancies. Because what happens when you suppress your immune system because you're trying to not reject the foreign uh, organ, uh, you put yourselves at risk for reactivation of viruses, in particular or other infections, as well as malignancies that can come with the foreign uh, invader, which is the organ in this case. And then we're wondering how pandemics happen. the MKUltra projects, mind control out of the 40s and 50s, how it actually leads us into transhumanism. That China could be breeding genetically modified soldiers. You heard that right. The Chinese regime could be creating mutant soldiers. Elon Musk's brain machine interface company Neuralink on Friday posted a YouTube video where a monkey can be seen playing a video game by navigating an on-screen cursor using his mind using CRISPR genome editing technology created by UC Berkeley professor Jennifer Dudna, a team of scientists aimed to genetically resurrect a woolly mammoth by 2027. Scientifically, they're not bringing back the woolly mammoth. Uh, it's, it's actually more like creating a genetically modified elephant. And, and in that sense, you know, science has a lot of experience genetically modifying you know, all sorts of you know, different things. Judicial Watch announced today that it received 165 pages of records from the FDA showing that the FDA between 2012 and 2018 entered into eight contracts worth $96,370 with Advanced Bioscience Resources, ABR, to acquire, quote, fresh and never frozen, unquote, tissue from first and second trimester aborted fetuses for use in creating, quote, humanized mice. Professor Matthew Liao, good morning to you. Good morning. You've suggested that one thing we might be able to do to reduce the, uh, the human footprint on planet Earth is genetically engineer babies to be smaller, thus making them more energy efficient. How we might ethically edit ourselves for climate change. It turns out that we can use human engineering to help us address climate change. So one is that uh, people eat too much meat, Right? And if they were to cut down on their consumption on meat, then they would, uh, it would actually really help the planet. We can use hu human engineering to make it the case that we're intolerant to certain kinds of meat, to certain kinds of bovine, uh, bovine protein. Yes, indeed, the hubris and the unadulterated pride of the Western pseudoscientific sorcerers has deceived them. And now they are working overtime to deceive us, promising a technologically advanced utopia where mankind actively guides his own evolutionary development. But what is actually being constructed all around us is an Orwellian nightmare where mankind is being genetically engineered and bred to be a subhuman, low-cost, energy-efficient slave class who may not even possess the cognitive ability to voice their grievances or protest inhumane conditions. And all this will be done under the pretext of preventing disease, promoting equality, and stopping climate change. There are researchers respected in the scientific community who are proposing that humans be genetically spliced with cats, owls, or other creatures that can see in the dark in order to cut emissions and lower our carbon footprint. They want to reduce streetlights and the electricity needed to light cities and towns at night. The Great Reset has already started the process of breeding their corporate chimera, New World Order humanoid slaves. It is prophetic.
because the scripture states that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And during the last truly global slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade, the captive Israelites were dehumanized and deemed to be three-fifths of a human being. It may be that in the coming New World Order, One World Government slave system, the forced labor <laughs> will be born and bred to actually be three-fifths of a human being. But in order to achieve their goals, they must distract their prey and keep the masses preoccupied under a spell, demonically influenced to give their consent and undergo a transformation that's guided by the Luciferian ruling class. They displayed this openly in last year's Super Bowl commercial for Alexa. I literally couldn't imagine a more beautiful vessel for Alexa to be inside. I was in his hands. I was being changed. Yeah. I was in his hands. I was being changed. Twenty twenty two. The Chinese Year of the Tiger. Chinese New Year and could be a good omen for the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals versus Rams. Both of these football teams are made up of humans who have taken on the personification of beasts, set to face off in the so-called City of Angels. Fallen Angels, that is. This is a critical year, and the controllers are pulling out all the stops. I've never seen them put so much into the promotional for a halftime show. <laughs> We're just as away, days away from some of the biggest names in music taking the stage for what's shaping up to be one of the most legendary Super Bowl halftime shows ever. TJ, you spoke to Mary J. Block. Yes, and that's the word now, legendary. So legendary that, dare I say, the Los Angeles Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals will serve as the warm-up act for the halftime performers. Yes, Dre, Snoop, M. Kendrick and one Mary J. Blige. When I talked to her, she was so hype about the halftime show, she was running out of words to describe it. Super Bowl producers are saying this could be the greatest 12 minutes in music entertainment the world has ever seen. And why not? Just the trailer for the Pepsi Super Bowl 56 halftime show has now been viewed more than 12 million times. This ad is filled with symbols of Masonic dualism and the merging of opposites using hermetic alchemy. The main color scheme is black and white. We see this in the checkerboard, Eminem's private jet, Mary J's zebra print coat, and Dr. Dre's piano keys. There's also a lot of gray use, symbolizing the synthesis of the opposites, black and white. Eminem scene shows the schizophrenic bipolar nature of their MK Ultra programming, Eminem versus his alter, Slim Shady. This is the strategy of trauma-based mind control, using trauma to fracture the subject's psyche into multiple personalities. This is being done on a massive scale through ultra-violent media and the degradation of society. It may not seem like much at first glance, but during the Mary J. Blige segment of the video, there are several subtle references to mixing of species, symbolized by the different animal print showcased throughout her wardrobe. This coupled with other animal references highlighted throughout the Super Bowl ritual form a theme, a pattern. Megan Thee Stallion. First team of frozen check-in. Hi, checking in? 
Yep, it's me, Megan the Stallion. Megan the Stallion. Oh, here you are. Just a couple questions. Any allergies, you know, like cats, dogs? Nope. And deer? I'm sorry, what? How about a fox, bear, water buffalo? What about a sloth? A sloth. 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 Sloth allergies? Yeah. No. Great. This way. Okay. And one more thing. You're comfortable around crocodiles, right? A crock of what? Megan the Stallion takes on the personification of a male horse, embracing the transgender human animal programming. These men are master sorcerers, wordsmiths, reciting incantations that have entranced whole generations to walk down a path of self destruction. Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg two pioneers of gangster rap. In the 1994 song, Murder Was the Case, Snoop slithers over Dr. Dre's hypnotic beats and melodies, intricately describing a deal he made with the devil, selling his soul for fame and fortune. Even the name Snoop Dogg is just more anthropomorphic human animal spellcasting. Similarly, Eminem ensnared a whole new audience with a barrage of profane vulgarity laced lyrical witchcraft. But it is Kendrick Lamar's participation in this hermetic ritual that brings the halftime ceremony full circle. For it was Kendrick Lamar who just a few years back proclaimed that he was an Israelite. I'm an Israelite, don't call me black no more. That word is only a color, it ain't facts no more. After this powerful personal revelation was presented to the wider public and allowed to reverberate, the inevitable ramifications quickly began to manifest in the form of Kendrick Lamar being put on timeout and having to ride the bench for the last five years. But before his controllers put him on hiatus, he did what amounts to a public disavowing and recanting ritual, spiritually distancing himself from his Israelite heritage by paying homage to the giant marine kingdom goddesses Ashun and the Arishas in the 2018 Black Panther soundtrack video, All the Stars. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense. And now he's been summoned as a pawn on the Masonic checkerboard floor. Music's most elite, summoning them to the Pepsi Super Bowl 56 halftime show. The commercial shows Dr. Dre moving the chess pieces and summoning the performers. But who is Dr. Dre? 18 Black Panther soundtrack video. And now he's been summoned as a pawn on the Masonic checkerboard floor. Music's most elite, summoning them to the Pepsi Super Bowl 56 halftime show. They're literally making the commercial it shows. clear how like, the city and the world is their playground and this is what they're playing with and controlling and making moves on. It's Dr. Dre moving the chess pieces and summoning the performers. But who is Dr. Dre? What is he prescribing? And just what kind of doctor is he? Vaccination verification guidelines will remain in place with the Super Bowl just days away. Where attendees will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative test to enter. The Israelites must keep in mind, we are currently serving our last captivity under Roman Greco gods. 
The Super Bowl has been around since gasoline cost 33 cents a gallon, and Andy Griffith was the darling of American television. 249A, section Roman numeral 5. The game even has ties to ancient times when gladiators provided entertainment instead of the TV. Do you know your Roman numerals? It is from the Greek word stade that they derive the word stadium. And who is the Greek god of athletics, competition, and sport? He is also their god of travel and is depicted in this ad as the giant mysterious hand holding up the road as the performers travel to their destination. I didn't really see that. We cover the multiple personas and identities of this elusive demon in one of our most recent presentations, Who's Who? Of course, there are many multinational corporate puppet masters. If y'all wanna watch who's who, comment that down below, y'all. Yeah. Masterminding this entire spectacle. Because the Luciferian elite are gifted with the sword, they can turn anything they touch into a weapon. Anything from the air we breathe, to the food we eat, the images we see, and yes, the music we hear. Social engineering. Like an arrow just after its release. Money. Traditions Archery in Rochester is watching the sport take off. Ken Casey volunteers his time and his skills so that even six-year-olds can perfect theirs. It's not a sport all about hunting. Recently, though, he's seen these Saturday morning shooting sessions double in size. The reason, perhaps, lies in a fictional character named Katniss Everdeen, the heroine star of The Hunger Games. It's, just, it's, it's kind of made it mainstream, and it's shown uh, we've had a lot more female shooting. A sport once dominated by grown men is now being taken over by women and children. Industry experts say a growing interest in archery has been sparked since the release of The Hunger Games movie. Well, if you know anything about The Hunger Games, this next sport needs no introduction. Archery is one of the fastest growing sports in the world, especially among young girls. Now others around the nation and in Lancaster County. Oh, that's crazy. This is just showing the power behind the movies and how it really influences the minds of the mass people to do certain things that they wouldn't have done beforehand. And that can literally just go through the music and the movies. And this is a perfect example that they are getting. also taking aim after Hollywood blockbusters like The Hunger Games. This kind of inspires you to do a little bit more. Just have this sort of desire to want to match up to these people. They go out, they end up falling in love with it, and it just keeps going on and on. The Hunger Games fever boys step aside with some fierce female role models. Girls will need no help making an impression. I love going out to a shoot and going up against the guy and being I can outshoot you and then seeing the look on their face when I do it. OK, so the images and sounds of the Hunger Games inspired young women to take up archery in unprecedented numbers. I wonder what type of images and sounds the mainstream entertainment industry has for young so-called African-American boys. Rap music, killings in the project, and you no, no, no longer need to wonder why it goes on. If popular media is powerful enough to influence young women to pick up archery, it is reasonable to conclude that this same influence could inspire self-destructive behavior. 100%. These are just children. This boy doesn't even look like he's hit puberty yet. And the CEO of Atlantic Records, Craig Kalman, along with the degenerates who run Google and YouTube, had these children trending on YouTube's main page promoting genocide. And the social engineers used the Judas Goats, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, to start all this death programming in the music over 30 years ago. Let me just make mention, those guns right there are just props. They are not real. It's just toys. But yeah, them YouTube appointing the doctor as master of ceremony is apropos. For it is in the spirit of poison medicine that they march toward their end goal, which is to desecrate the temple of Israel. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, he shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. There are many agendas the New World Order has brewing right now, many of which we are unable to openly expose on YouTube because of censorship and suppression. 
but we can already see them gearing up for their next big narrative. We will be staying vigilant as they continue to telegraph their next moves by hiding occult signs and symbols in plain sight. She texts him back. No. Not sorry. I'm not sorry. She says, the love is gone. How could you be so foolish? So foolish. They can't quite pinpoint the, love is gone. the source of their rage. Something's weighing heavy. But something is there. This ain't healthy. Toxic. I won't compromise. Oh, no compromise. The love is gone. The love is gone. Please don't blame me. It's your fault. Close to 5,000 documents previously classified. Something. Something is fueling the fight. It was in this atmosphere that the search for mind control began. She says, I won't compromise. Of course, he responds. President Joe Biden and his son Hunter's dealings in Ukraine. Now marriage rates in the U.S. are at historic lows. You're the problem. So many are unaware that there is something much bigger at play here. Woe to the city of blood, full of lies, full of plunder, never without victims. The crack of whips, the clatter of wheels, That's me. galloping horses and jolting chariots, charging cavalry, flashing swords and glittering spears, many casualties, piles of dead, bodies without number, people stumbling over the corpses, all because of the wanton lust of a prostitute, That's me. alluring the mistress of sorceries who enslaved nations by her prostitution and peoples by her witchcraft. King Lyrics, quote, I am no mother, I am no bride, I am king. King, that's me, I am skin. I'm everything, King. All wars start in the spirit realm first. King, that's me. I was just saying this in my last video. I am skin. I'm everything, King. That's me. World War Three. I am has already begun. Skin, I'm everything, King. They have already chosen a side and pledged their allegiance. Bow down to your king. That's me. I am skin. I'm everything, King. That's me. I am. Everything feels on my skin. So nice. I'm everything, King.
After a series of unexplainable file disappearances, hardware failures, and the suspicious crash of our main hard drive, we have returned to deliver a message that some very powerful entities, whether carnal or spiritual, do not want us to deliver. So at long last, we are excited to be able to present our latest video presentation, Lust and War. Through a painstaking process of digital search and retrieval, we've been able to rebuild and recreate this very important message piece by piece. We have combined the two-part series into one powerful presentation. It's an hour and 47 minutes of eye-opening and spiritually challenging information. So we invite you to join our research and discernment community as we decode and expose the secret signs and symbols hidden in plain sight. Symbols that forecast the enemy's next move. If you would like to support our work and view our latest presentation, Lust and War is now... All right, uh... That Shattered Paradise right there, very powerful channel. Like, these are like the only videos that I could like really comfortably watch that's like a freaking half an hour long, just because throughout the entire thing is just talking about some real things that are going on throughout this world. And not many people like can see or even know. You get what I'm saying? And that's why I make this video. So you can share this video to anyone that you want to see or want them to actually gain this type of knowledge when it comes to like the two sides, the two spiritual forces that are really at play in this world when it comes to good and evil. As you guys can see, you have a lot of people working for the bad. And that's just the way it is. This is what it talks about within the word of God. And that's just what's going on. So that's the reality that we need to move in and we need to live in. It's not like we can no longer deny that. You feel what I'm saying? So make sure you do smash the like button, especially since you did watch this point of video. Subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace.